welcome to Educate E-Commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So in the previous video, we see how you can add a simple product into your Shopify store. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a product variant into your store easily in different methods. So uh, I have a product right here. I'm going to add a new product. So I'm going to click on the add product option. So right here, you have the basic details. You have to uh, write a title. So I'm going to give the title. I'm going to add a description. So uh, these are the basic things that you want in a product. So I'm going to add the product type, the vendor. So this uh, Shopify is a great store uh, when you have a multi vendor store or different brands or you, if you have collections that's uh, running around. So you can uh, use these uh, platforms to do your works and also tags. Uh, you can add whatever tags you have for your product. If that's existing, you can add this. Now I'm going to add few uh, images uh, for my product right here. So I have added the images and after this, I'm going to add the pro, uh, pricing. So this pricing, as you can see, uh, is the uh, is the pro, uh, price that uh, you will uh, have for your customers as a pr uh, that you want to sell to, and the compare the price is the higher rate if you want to sell it on a sale. So I'm going to write it uh, 700, let's say, and this is the cost per item. So whichever uh, price uh, is the cost, uh, you can see the margin and profit uh, through this. And also I'm going to write the SKUs for this product as well. So you have to write whatever that's fit for your store. I'm going to write uh, this SWT for my convenience. Here I'm going to write the uh, quantity. So these are not the main things. Now here you can see the variant option. What you have to do is you have to click on the variants and right here you can see different options. There is size, color, material, style, uh, title, etc. First of all, I'm going to add a size for my product. I'm going to add excess so you can separate it by either pressing the enter key or you can just put on the comma. So excess is there, small is there, medium, large and excess. So these are the variants uh, in my size. I'm going to add another product option. So that is color. So I have gray, I have blue and I have maroon for my product. So I have added that as well. So right now you can see all the variations like you have excess gray, excess blue, excess maroon. All the product variants are now listed over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, make this product active and save it. So now that the product is active, I'm going to uh, see my product in the store. I'm going to click on the store and in the catalog session, you can see the my product is here. And as you can see, there is size, there is variation as uh, gray. You can see all the small, medium, large and excel and also color, blue, gray, maroon, etc. But uh, here when I click on the gray, the gray product is not appearing. So what you have to do is you have to change the product image. So let's go back to the uh, section where we added all these uh, images, etc. So here now you can see that the options have been changed. So if you want to add a new variant, uh, for example, if you want to add this new variant for your existing uh, size or color that we have already chosen you have to click on to the add variant if you want to add different op uh, options like uh, if you want to add if you forgot to add your color or you want to add the material or uh, something any other options that you want to add you can uh, choose that and add the value right here all right so uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to uh, choose or uh, add variant and click on this so right here, you can uh, add the variant over here, but I'm going to uh, edit this product images as uh, as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the gray option and I'm going to choose the uh, product image. I've added the image right here. Now I'm going to add all the uh, images to all of these products right here. So. Uh, to add the images to a bulk amount of variants, uh, there's another way that you can do. You can go back to your variants. 
so right here in this you can select whatever uh, is the image that you want to add to let's say if you want to uh, select gray you can click on the whichever gray option is uh, available and what you have to do is you have to go to the more action button you can edit the price quantities or add image remove image all those uh, you can do all those things here i'm going to add the image uh, from this option so i'm going to add an image for this product so uh, that's done so i'm going to do it uh, similarly for every other product so i have done uh, adding my images so i'm going to save this product right here and uh, the product is already active so you can see uh, it will be reflected in my uh, image in my, in my product so i'm going to uh, save this so uh, now you can see this is excess gray so when i change the color the product color will be changed and when it's maroon uh, the again the product uh, image will be changed so uh, you can do whatever uh, the quantity or whatever uh, thing is uh, remaining so you can uh, like uh, change the sku that's fit for this product you can change the quantity in the bulk mode so all these methods are shown in this video so hope this video helped you and we'll see you in another video bye